Turning DisplayPort Monitor off disables monitor completely. I have two monitors connected to a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. Left is 1920x1080 via DV, Samsung SyncMaster 2443BW. Right is 2560x1440 via DisplayPort and is set to primary, Samsung SyncMaster set 850. I often leave my computer running overnight, working on long render job, doing backups, etc., so I only power off my monitors manually. However, if I power off the primary monitor, it is disabled completely as if it were unplugged from the graphics card, i.e. icons are moved, open apps are moved and resized to fit on the new primary monitor. If I switch from DP to a DV cable, this does not occur. It seems to be an issue when using DisplayPort. Is there a way to disable the monitor from being disabled completely in Windows when I power it off physically? I have found no relevant settings in either Windows Display Settings, nor the NVIDIA Control Panel software. Edit number 1, I'm using an Eobach Transdata DP510 cable. Edit number 3, here are screenshots of my monitor configuration. Clicking on advanced settings reveals a generic PNP monitor running at 59 HE. 60 HE is the only other option available. Here is my secondary monitor which is connected via DV. Edit number 4, if I open the screen resolution configuration panel and power the monitor off, via the power switch, this is what is shown. It looks like I disconnected the monitor from the video card. I've run into this issue as well and I've decided to write a little utility to restore the position and sizes of the windows on each of the screens. I unfortunately have an AMD card so the NVIDIA solutions don't work for me. This URL DisplayPort acts as a PNP device, so turning off the monitor disconnects it from the computer as if it was removed and windows are moved out because windows forgets this device, until it is turned on again and is discovered. One solution is to just let the screen go into sleep instead of turning it off. There are ways of programmatically forcing that, for example by using the Monoff command. In the free Wismo utility to turn off all monitors. Another solution for NVIDIA cards is detailed in. DisplayPort blanking, screen auto-detect problems. By setting the monitor to use edit information from a file instead of from the monitor. So auto-detect is not required. This is done in NVIDIA Control Panel in GT, Workstation in GT, View System Topology in GT. Edit Source for the monitor and GT, Monitor. And GT, Export Edit. Repeat this for each monitor. The topology should list the display as either edit forced or file. See the linked article for more detail. Disable the display data channel command interface, DVC slash C, in your monitor settings. As a result Windows will not recognize if you turn off your monitor, and your desktop icons stay as they should. I successfully tested this on a Dell monitor. Wikipedia describes DDC slash C as follows. 
I'll just leave it at that. There isn't much about it on the net. DDC slash C specifies a means for a computer to send commands to the monitor, as well as receive sensor data from the monitor, over a bidirectional link, some tilting DDC slash C monitors support an auto pivot function, where a rotation sensor in the monitor enables the operating system to keep the display upright as the monitor is moved between its portrait and landscape positions. Most DDC slash C monitors support only a small subset of MCCS commands, and some have undocumented commands. Many manufacturers did not pay attention to DDC slash C in the past, but now almost all monitors support such general MCCS commands as brightness and contrast management. This URL Or Switch from DisplayPort to HDMI and block pin number 19 with electrical tape. Unfortunately, this is only possible if monitor and graphics card have additional HDMI ports. Pin 19 Hot Plug Detect all versions and Ed Data Plus, optional, HDMI 1.4 Plus with Ethernet. DisplayPort also has a hot plug pin, pin number 18, but I doubt someone is able to tape this specific pin since DP connectors are just too small. This doesn't apply to all Samsung monitors but on my SyncMaster BX2031, I found that if I go to the monitor's built-in menu, go to set up an amp, reset and set magic return to off, I don't have the issue. I think this is Samsung's attempt at saving on system performance by disabling an unused screen. However, I'm not entirely sure if this is the only function of the feature so be safe about it. To clarify, on Samsung monitors go to, menu and GT, set up an amp, reset and GT, Magic Return and GT, off.